What's up everybody? So I'm no longer in Sedona. I left a couple days ago. Honestly, like I know some van lifers love like spending 99% of their time like in the wilderness, but I'm a fellow. I like to split it up. Like I still like to go out and like explore cities and bars and stuff. So I'm in, uh, I drove down to Phoenix where it's nice and warm. And I explore, I spent most of my time around Scottsdale. <laughs> I spend most of my time around Scottsdale because it's just like a really fun area. Uh, I've been enjoying that and it's been like sunny and beautiful outside for the most part. Um, I did have an encounter with like a drunk dude like trying to like throw a storm drain on my car in the middle of the night and it kind of turned ugly but I made it out safe. Um, I can go into more detail in, a, in like a whole nother video if you want. If anybody really wants me to talk about it. I know I went into it on Instagram. Um, but yeah, so it's now Saturday. This work week was pretty crazy, so I didn't get to do too much exploring. That's why I didn't really pick up the camera because I wasn't doing anything too exciting. Like work was kicking my ass pretty good and that is always a priority. What I'm gonna do today is um, I have a, a social media friend of mine lives in the area and she does a lot of hikes and stuff. And, and the one looks beautiful. It's called Battleship Mountain and it's about 12 miles and it's not one unfortunately it's not one that i could bring oshi on because it's a lot of uh like scrambling and and like climbing boulders and stuff so i don't want to bring oshi oh come here man dude just try to sneak off like nothing happened but yeah so i'm gonna go it's about an hour drive away so i'm probably gonna drive out there have a nice day hike and then keep exploring the phoenix area because i mean sedona's incredible i mean Honestly, overall, Arizona's been blowing my mind. Like it's, there's just, it's just so diverse. And so it's, it's a very cool area. So if you guys, if anyone gets the chance, explore Arizona to its fullest. Weekend, I'm literally just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna enjoy my time right in the Phoenix area, explore with my uh, with this stinky young prick down here. All right, I should watch what I say. <laughs> this little douchebag. But yeah, and then probably Sunday night or Monday morning. I'm not really sure yet. I'm gonna uh, drive out west and go meet up. And see other people's builds and explore and kind of just hang out with people I'm, uh, I'm excited for it so um, yeah hopefully I'll have this video out before uh, Schooly Palooza starts but if you're going let me know I'd love to meet up you know like just say what's up and um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a good week I'm excited yeah so the hike I was planning for today isn't gonna happen because the closest parking I could get to the trailhead was three miles away and I just, I wouldn't have enough time before it started getting dark to, to do this hike. So probably early tomorrow I'll do it. And for now I'm just gonna do some exploring. This is a map of the hike I was originally gonna do. The road leading up, you can see in the white is, was closed. So I did a little research, drove up to Canyon Lake right there and there was a trail, Canyon Lake Trail, that led to the hike I was gonna do. But once I got to the, type, the, the top of that hike, I was really happy with it. It was probably like six or seven miles, and I decided to uh, just call it a day there instead of going up the, the other one. <laughs> Thank you. 
just to think that I'm a mildly experienced hiker. So I'm gonna give you my three most important things to bring on a hike. Maybe not most important, but these are three things that I learned the hard way that I know I need to have on a hike. So number number three, let's start with three, is nylon boxers. For at least for guys. For ladies, I don't I mean I'm assuming the same material. Honestly, like I started my first couple hikes with uh just cotton. Dude, never wear cotton anything for one. For on any hike. But nylon has like changed my life where like no chafing or anything. And I think it makes me faster because there's no friction. So I'm just like, I can like, like hike at crazy speeds and no chafing at all. Number two is the summit beer. I know this sounds dumb, but like having like that little satisfaction once you reach the top, like when you're so tired and shit and like your knees hurt, it's gonna, it's gonna make you want to go hiking again because it's like a beer that you really earned. So I recommend bringing a summit beer or I don't know, just some kind of reward when, once you reach the top is something I found that I really, I really enjoy doing. But sometimes it turns into summit beers, plural, and that has presented problems in the past. <laughs> Last but not least, this one's actually serious. Bring a life straw. Like, you don't gotta bring the full water bottle version, but those little life straws that like just like filter out like water sources or whatever could possibly save your life. Like, it just blows my mind why somebody wouldn't bring one. Like, it's just so, it doesn't add any weight and you have unlimited water in case shit happens, you know? Well, not unlimited, you still have to find a water source. You're a lot better off. Okay, so I'm very aware I'm botching the name, but these are like Cigaris, Sagaritis, something type of cactus. But they are, uh, they don't start sprouting their first arm until they're at least a hundred years old. So that means that dude right there is like a couple hundred years old. And that's a fact I've heard about 40 times since uh, being in Arizona. Everybody likes to tell me that. <laughs>